Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, I'm really excited about today because we're going to be covering large doubles, sixes, sevens, eights, and nines, and combinations through ten. Okay, mathematicians, the first part we're going to be working on large doubles. At the top, we have sixes, and at the bottom, we have sevens. So, what are the strategies? I'm going to go over a strategy per item here. So, let's take a look. So, we have two sixes. You can have six and six. You can write out the numbers, six and six. But, let's look at the strategy for a young primary school student. One of the ways that we can do it is that if you have this out on a piece of paper, boom, cross that out, fill in this dot over here. Cross this out, fill it in over here. Cross this one out, fill it in, and you repeat until you get it all done. So now they have a full 10 frame, and they should know that that is 10. And then there's two over here. They can count on 10, 11, 12. Notice I'm using a highlighter. That makes it so that they can draw over these numbers if you're assisting them with writing numbers. Let's go down to the next one here. So again, we can fill it in, we can count on. There's so many different ways to do this, but I really, I really like doing the, the, the filling in because I could just say, oh, hey, there's three here, cross those out, and we're going to put three over here. Again, we have a full 10, and then there's four right here. So 10, four is equal to 14. Notice I'm not putting in any symbols here. You can add that for your students, but for primary students, let's say TK through 1, uh, you may not want to do that, but it's okay to get them used to seeing it. So we have 8s and 9s. This gets a little bit harder, but again, it's the same strategy. But let's take a look at the 8 and 8. Let's go 8 and 8. So that's 8 plus 8. Use the highlighter, set it up for them if necessary, and we want to get them used to either uh, counting on or just knowing that 8 and 8 is equal to 16. Or they could just say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Boom, 16. Now, this one here, it's 9 and 9, it's just, we can say, hey, you know, this is 10 and 10, okay? So they might be able to already know that, where they know that they're, they're, they're 10s with, um, or 10 and then it's 20. But then you can say, hey, so if that's 20, you're missing 1, so that's going to be 19 and 18. So we say 10 plus 10, that equals 20. And then minus 2 is equal to 18. Different strategies for different ways to work out these uh, large doubles. Okay. Now, we're going to be making uh, combinations of numbers through 10. I like using dice for this. It's a game that you can play. Now, one of the rules is, is that if you roll two sixes or a six and a five, they need to roll one of the die again because we want to get it just through 10 for right now because it's going towards the primary student. That's K through 2. We roll some dice. We get a six and a three. Now, I like this combination because we can say, hey, what's 3 plus 3 plus 3? So they can count those out. They can put it in order. Um, you know, make sure you have your 6 and 3 here. And they can count on. What I like about, you know, some of these numbers, especially with the 3, is 6. We can count on. Look at the points. 7, 8, 9. That's 9. We roll the dice again. Boom. 4 and 3. Well, there's a couple of different strategies that we can go with that. So we can have, say, hey, here's 4 and 4, because they might know they're doubles. Okay? So we say, hey, that, oh, that's 8, but we have to subtract 1 to make 7. Again, different strategies that they can work on, or they can just count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Count on. 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, next roll. We have a 5 and a 4. They know they're, they're doubles. This could be a 4 and a 4 or a 5 and a 5. Now, what I like about this is that 
We can say four and four, they, they should already know that double. That's a small double, that's eight plus one. So that is gonna be nine. They should already know their, their small double of a five. Five and five is equal to 10. But if we say, well, there's, there's that 10 minus one equals nine. Different strategies, different kids get it differently. Let's roll the dice again. There we go. I really love this one. Six and four. I can use their fingers. So we have a hand over here. And there's one, two, three, four, and then a thumb. There's five. And then they could just have another finger up. One. And that's it. They just have one finger up. So they have six. And then they have four fingers up over here. Okay. So you can show them that. There's six, and then all of a sudden, this right here, if you put up the other four fingers, you get that thumb over here, you get a total of ten. So there's five and five. You can say, hey, wait a minute, look at this. We can pull this one out, and let's put it in the center over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Keep them thinking. And I like the dice because it's something that they can play with their hands. You want to keep them engaged that way. And that's it for working with combinations through 10 as well as large doubles. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Next up, we're going to be covering make a 10 more strategy and combinations through 20.